This one is going to be a good one. Because I'm about to bump this real quick. They be fucking cowards when they buy themselves. Dudes be cowards. You know they do. You ain't shit without your own What you think? True, man. Alright. On a real note. You know. Why dudes be soft without their homies? Because when you're around your friends or family or whatever, you get lost for a bottle. They give you a false sense of confidence because people think there's power in numbers. Mm. So whenever you're with your friends or your homies or whatever you want to call them, it's what it is. Yeah, man. Um, I made this. I'm making this video because, and this your boy Mad Man Tate too. Y'all know how I go. I ain't gotta keep saying that, but I made this video because. Dudes, and I'm talking about black dudes in particular, because you know y'all my kind. So y'all, y'all gotta stop being scary, man. Um, this beat go hard, bro. Uh, yeah, I got that pack in the background. You ain't shit without your homeboys. Um, y'all dudes be, y'all be scary, man. Like, um, you gotta do better. As a uh, black dude, because I see a lot of stuff happening within our community, and it seems like we don't have um, any answers or um, conclusions. I like to call it about uh, what to do and how to do it, and it's like even when dudes want to do something, they lean towards the the Israelites and. Um, the uh, conscious community, and then this, you know, that's corrupted, you know, that's corrupt too, so they still stuck in a one mind state, you know what I mean, like, they leave that, and then they go into that world, and it's still the same one track mind, um, and even they don't give, give you answers, right, they just, they give you scenarios and um, history of what happened, but they don't know what to do, and that's what I don't understand, but, you know, the killings and the fightings and uh, exploiting people uh, that's in jail, um, blackmailing people that's on the street, dudes snitching, oh, I hate when dudes snitch, that's, you know, snitching goes so far, right, it's just, forget the street stuff, like, snitching is just too, how do you tell, like, to me, that's just, we didn't even tell our fan. Like, when you when we got in trouble, I don't know about y'all, but when we got in trouble, I wasn't going to tell on my brother. Like, you know, it's just disloyal. Like, it's no loyalty. And then it's just like, you know, you know what it consists of, right? Like, you know y'all going to get dominated. So, when you go to the police and stuff like that, how do you go tell the, the person that put you in that habitat and kept you down and hurt your people and stuff like that? Like, how do you, you know, I just, I don't understand the telling part, you know. I, and then they do the crime, right? Y'all do the crime and then y'all, that's so snakish. Um, it, it, it go deeper than just street stuff. It's just like, how do you be, to me, when you snitch, you're submissive. Yeah, how do you submit to the end? Yeah, like, they're the enemy. Like, I don't get it. Like, when you snitch, you're just submissive, right? You just gave up all your manhood when you just go and tell, like, it was him right there. And snitching, let's, let's, let's keep this and get this real clear. Snitching is when you do dirt with somebody and you know it's wrong. Right? That's like me. If I was to cheat on you or something and my brother go cheat on his girl and then, you know, one of us get caught and then, they, you know, I'm going to tell on both, you know. And then I'm like, well, shit, I'm going to just tell on my brother then. It's just going to save my ass, right? But we both did the dirt, but I'm looking out for myself, right? That's just, 
you can see that I just don't understand telling. That's what snitching is, is when you do dirt with somebody and you've been benefiting off of it. We was messing with all the girls and everything. And we got caught. And then I'm just like, oh, it was him and I had nothing to do with it, right? Or I'll, even though I get caught, I'll tell the truth so, you know, I can get less time or less consequence. That's, cow that's your coward. And you just have no room for people like that because in the Bible, Jesus got snitched on. You know what I mean? Like, it don't even have to be street mentality. It's just that telling. Why would you tell? You know what I mean? So, um, that's another thing. I don't, I don't like snitches. And then they tell the cops and stuff. I just, you know. Don't, they put you in that environment. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff. So, And that's just one thing. And um, watching ladies fight. You know, I don't like that either. Um, I don't know. They don't see it as it can be their mom, their daughter. Um, you know, she used to be a vet. Those women that you see fighting used to be queens, right? Like, that's how we looked at them back then. We looked at them as queens. And now we look at them like, fucking, I don't even know. I don't, you know, I hate to compare them to anything lower than because at the end of the day, that's still my sister. You get what I'm saying? But how do I express my feelings without being, you know, too honest? See? I have to dilute it. I have to filter what I say about black women because I don't want nobody thinking that way because it's not for y'all to think about. You know what I mean? So, but we look at them as literally female dogs. And they have accepted that word, you know, bitch, and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't understand. You know what I mean? I, I don't get it. And they do nothing to help them. Like, if I was seeing two females fighting, and definitely over me, you know, I'm I'm stopping it right then it is. You know what I mean? Like, that's your sister. You hug her, y'all apologize to each other, and y'all grow together. That's what you're supposed to do. But... And I do that with the same thing with dudes, like, dap up, man, and it's all right to fight, right, because when we were younger, we fought, but we had the hug, it was no way, I don't know about y'all, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but in my family, in the realistic days, you know, we fought, it was no way I can say, I hate him, I hate my brother, I hate my cousin, you know, or fuck him, you know what I mean, because then, then, then the ass whooping came, the real ass whooping. Um, they made us duke it out. Um, it was a part of like the love, you know what I mean? Um, verbally, you can say you love somebody, but how did you prove it? Right? You prove about how you Yeah, I believe that. Like I believe if it's your best friend or your brother or your cousin, it's all right to fight. You know, you're not killing each other. There's no guys, y'all just fighting. But finally, as an adult, really hostility. When you're a child, you're supposed to let things go. It shouldn't be that way, though. We should be able to. We should be able to fight, throw blows as men. That's the showing a manly side. Now we can talk, but I'm saying if it's if it's if it comes down to just now, nah, we got to We got to throw these hands, man to man. Let's you what know. What could be that serious that you can't talk about? Everything. Sleeping with somebody's wife can be that okay, serious. Okay, and that, so that's no longer your friend. That's not your friend, that's not your family. Yeah, or, or, or stealing. Or stealing can be that serious. I'm just not gonna just throw you to the side because you sold like 10, 20 dollars. But you'll cause physical harm to them. It's not even harm, right? It's, it's love. Imagine this. If we didn't get whoopings as kids, would we be the same? No. That's physical harm. Why can't why do why can't we do that when we get older? It's not barbaric because we're not killing each other. We're throwing blows. At the end of the day, I still love you. But you're not. It's a difference between discipline and fighting. When you're parents, that's what fighting you're is. We're disciplining woman. each other. Mm -hmm. So you're you're thinking out of a woman mind. I'm thinking out of a man mind. I grew up like this. I grew up real and raw. We don't you don't kick people when they're down. You don't sucker punch people. And if you fighting and he fall, you pick him up of and course. you keep going. And you ask him, is he good? And if he say no, we can keep banging. That's just real. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, y'all see it as a bad thing. I've never seen fighting as a bad thing. Because you can fight happy. Slap boxing is happy. Nobody, we're still slapping each other, but it's happy. It's just 
verbal doesn't always mean good. You have to have some type of physicality. Like wrestling was always fun, but it's bad because it's, it's, you can hurt somebody. There would be no flag football. There would be no boxing. There would be no basketball. You have to have some type of physical contact. I believe. When that. you're fighting like that, you're fighting out of a place of anger because you think you're gonna solve something. Nah, I don't think not all. Of, I'm talking when I say fighting, I'm talking about love. I'm not talking about how they fight. They fight because they think the other dude is weak and they think you're a sucker or they want to show off. I'm talking about fighting in a sense of like that's my brother. That's my cousin. That's my homeboy. He know but better they than that. Something that you didn't agree. Exactly. So if, if we gonna duke it out, what we gonna do? Talk about it. Come on. That's that's why I'm saying like we breeding a bunch of suckers. That's why I made this video because in this day and age, dudes want to sneak, punch, shoot dudes. Um, you know, and run. They want to stunt, jump dudes, whatever. They got bats and knives. They don't want to be men. They don't want to shed no blood fist to fist and then hug each other after. That's cowardly. That's how it's supposed to be. Because I'm not with all that verbal shit. Like, I mean, if you're going to fight, then yeah, it should be that way. But I don't think anybody should be fighting to start with. I, do. I, I think I do. that. Because bunch like, of suckers as a grown adult, fight. Bunch of suckers. we're going to have more animosity. No, you're not. All right, if I fight one of my brothers, it ain't coming out of anger. You're it's not coming out of respect. It's going to be the same tomorrow. Always, always. It's my brother. Well, I've seen it happen. That's my brother. Like that. Yes, it was. When me and my brother got, because me and my brother got into a scuffle a while back. He a little, he a little one. He's still a little one. But, um, you know, it was all love. Uh, but y'all didn't talk like that. No, we did. We talked the same day. No. We just wasn't as cordial. You forget he came back, and then we was talking. And he was like, I love you. You're still my older brother, and I respect you. That's how it's supposed to be. Same thing with Rico. Same thing, you know, with my older brother. My younger brother, Yee. You know what I mean? Like, in this day and age, y'all don't want us to fight as men. Y'all want us to be suckers, and that's what's going on. You just talk of it. And I, I agree. If, if if I don't know you, y'all should talk. I mean, I don't, yeah, y'all shouldn't fight if y'all don't have any like connection. When I say fighting, I mean because y'all have that connection. I feel when men have that connection, um, whether it's your coworker or whatever, whatever happened, and then y'all just want to do. Now, if it's something you can talk about, just talk about. But I'm saying if it's something serious, like. Dog, how you gonna wear my shoes? Nah, we gotta throw them bang. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, it's mid, mid condition. Shoes. But look, shoes. look, if, if 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 they wore my Air Mags, like on some Debo shit, like, uh, here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wear these. I haven't even put on my Air Mags. We gotta do that thing. But what if they thought y'all was really just that cool? Nah. You like, that's my cutie. You like. can't go into somebody's closet and get his fresh air mask with them, the though. plastic wrapped around. <laughs> like, come on. Like, yeah, we do. And we duking it no out of love. Doing that. No one's doing that. With me, I'm going to be laughing the whole time. Like, I, like, I don't find, I don't have, when, when it's somebody close to me, I'm not going to be that angry. We gonna throw them and we gonna see. Yeah, see, I'm talking about when you're like literally angry and you ready to like shed blood with this person, like nah, draw blood. It, it from shouldn't them. come to that. No, it shouldn't. I agree. But, but if you do end up fighting, then you're 100 percent right. Then you should just hug or dap it up afterwards yeah, and be like, you know, we good now. Yeah, like yeah, you know, I love you, boy. Like that's that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> that's really odd, but okay. that's yeah, not it odd. That's, be that that's way. real. Like I guess I'm the last one left. No, because I mean, in the in the African American community, uh, a lot of people feel that way. Mexicans do too. They yeah, they, they do. They, they the only one that yeah, like Mexicans is the only one that keep it realistic yeah. when they it comes to that. Really like realistic. when it comes to the, the 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 moral code, I gotta give it to Mexicans. They yeah. will not jump most of the time, and they duke it out. They go in the back. They say, hey, that's the, hey, y'all fight. No, strap up, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Get up. No, fight. And you know what I mean? Nobody jump in. You jump in. We we gonna fuck all y'all up. You one on one. That's his brother or his homeboy. He did some dirt. You know what I mean? And then they dust him off, and you still one of us. You feel me? Blacks, kill it. Right? Jump in. Put it on social media. Humiliate. Why we never see a bunch of Mexicans doing that? No, that's true. See? 
We humiliate each other. Like, but this is your boy, man, man, Tate. And y'all do stop being suckers, man. Um, yeah, it's just going to get real. I'm just keeping it real because we got out of, you know, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. But we got out of reality. I'm bringing y'all back. We, we got to get back real. It's going to start with me. So, so, boy, I'm about to get something to eat. And I'm going to keep hitting y'all with these videos back to back, baby. Like, comment, subscribe, do the do the do the do. Cause I'ma do the do. I'm out.